Hello everybody and welcome back to Allo Dunes. In this episode we are building a beautiful black rhino habitat. So without further ado, let's hop straight into today's episode. Hello everybody, I am Kiwi Plays and welcome back to my channel. No matter if you are a returning subscriber or just a new viewer that just happened to stumble across my channel, thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful episode. So as I said in this episode, I am building for the Black Rhino. This is a super cool and beautiful animal and I haven't been thinking about building it for a long time but when I thought of the idea for building for it, I jumped straight into it and started straight away. Honestly, it wasn't my idea to start building from the Black Rhino. I a couple of weeks ago I went live and I was just building on YouTube live and somebody wrote in the comments if I could build for one of the rhinos and I said obviously first of all yes for sure and I knew that I was planning on building for the rhino in the near future in um, Allo Dunes but this comment just really got me going and it just really got me to decide that that's really what I wanted to to do. So so yeah, thank you for whoever commented it. I'm not too sure. I don't really remember who did it. If you remember that you commented it, let me know down in the comments down below. Um yeah, okay. So as you saw, I jumped straight into building the the habitat. I wasted no time. I started by doing the terraforming as usual and now I'm working on the the gate or the barrier to keep the rhinos out. This like custom chain link barrier with the plants on it, I created it myself. I'm going to put a link to the workshop in the description down below in this video. So if you're interested in using these specific um, items, these specific barriers, you're more than welcome to. Um, I just had an idea that it would be cool if there would be like these barriers that plants were climbing on and that's really just the idea of how I how it came to my mind. So as you can see now I am working on the little moat I should call it. In, in every single episode I get confused and I and I forget um, this word I forget the word moat and it's super it's super funny because I don't know if you heard or not but there was a little cut over there and in every episode I forget the word so I stop and I search in Google um, zoo barrier types and it's it's the first one over there or no it's the second one and then I automatically remember and I feel a bit stupid for forgetting um, but yeah, it's okay. As I said, I am working on the moat and this like little barrier that I'm gonna plant, put lots of plants in. Um, yeah, I am also working on this like little barrier as I said and I put already a couple of rocks in the background. They are the Caesar Create rocks that he created. I will also put those in the link down in the description down below. So if you're interested in also using one of those um, pieces that I used, you're more than welcome to go and check it out. Okay, but anyways, what you can see me doing right now is I'm starting to to work on this little like barrier or rock wall. Sorry if I use the same words all the time to describe the more or less the same things. Um, but I don't know, I just don't have any other ideas for words to describe. So, so yeah, as you can see, I am building this little like barrier, gate, rock wall, as I said before. And this idea I got from Zoo Chat while I was looking for ideas or for a bit of inspiration for a rhino habitat. I saw this really cool rock wall that I decided to recreate and to build something similar. So that's where I got the inspiration for that. I will leave the picture from Zoo Chat that I used in the description down below. Um, so you're more than welcome to go and check it out if you would like to. But while I was building this this whole habitat or while I was editing to be to be exact, 
I had a really weird thought um, that you, you you would think that this whole building process and this whole like habitat build would be very straightforward and would just take maybe one hour maybe two hours but no this whole process took me around five hours and it's just really weird because it wouldn't look like so much effort went into to a, such a small habitat but really so much effort went into this and it's just so many parts were cut out and there were parts where I started something and then I decided to cut it out and you you guys really don't understand the amount of effort it takes to 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 make a video and to put a video out and I'm definitely not complaining I love putting out videos and I love playing in Planet Zoo and recording but it just takes a lot of time from my day and I honestly don't have a lot of time um but but yeah it's okay it's totally okay that brings me to the next topic that again this video was posted a bit late i i don't know if i should say a bit late um when it was like a lot late but the the past month i'm pretty sure i have only been posting one episode a week and i don't like the idea of that i prefer to post two episodes of a week but i've just been very busy in life and i just wanted to put out the best videos possible and i didn't want to get stuck on small things that made me delay the building process so i didn't that's why you're gonna see in this episode there's a whole entire shelter that I completely lift as it is and I am not going to touch it in this episode and you will see that it is left incomplete but um, I mean I just really didn't feel like going and building it today and if I wouldn't do that then this episode would take a lot longer to to be to be put out than than what it would take if I would if I wouldn't have finished it like I like I'm doing right now so so that's that's why i that's why that whole like building shelter isn't finished i just have been feeling the past couple of weeks that if something isn't perfect it's okay and i'll go back and i'll fix it and I'll, and i will make it look as nice as, as i would like it but for now i i'm okay with leaving it like this especially if i want a video to be out on time then I, I have to do what I have to do. So it's perfectly okay. Um, yeah, let's talk about what I'm doing right now. This little wood wall section that I built, I am so proud of it. Um, you don't understand how proud I am of it. I think it looks just so good. And I'm super happy with how it's turned out. I think it looks so realistic and just really, really good. Not to brag or anything. Um, but I'm just really happy with myself with how it looks and how it turns out that's why in the end cinematics you're gonna see a lot of shots from this area because I really love how it turns out um, how it turned out sorry and and yeah um, okay let me tell you a little bit about where I got inspiration for the um, whole like shelter build even though it isn't finished yet I am going to go back and finish it, but it's inspired by Caesar Creates's, um, what's it called, his giraffe habitat shelter. It just looks really cool and really beautiful, and I thought that I could try to make something similar, but that's the reason why I haven't finished it yet, because I wasn't sure if I want to do something like that or if at the end I'm going to change it. So for now, I left it plain and just how it is right now and I'm going to go back and fix it and make it look really good. So don't you worry about that. Oh, and again, I talked about it, this in the last episode, but I opened a Fiverr account where I am starting to sell my own um, designs and logos and if anybody needs help with their... Um, YouTube thumbnails or just stuff like that I will leave the link down in the description below 
if you're interested in checking me out over there you're more than welcome to i'll be super happy if you do um but but i'm just putting that out there to to let you guys know so if you are interested in going and checking out my fiverr shop um you're more than welcome to and i'll be super happy if you decide to to purchase or to order from me um but but yeah that's that's enough about the little self promotion and another thing is um i shouldn't have said and but but never mind i i would love to to if you guys could give me ideas or just yeah just ideas or things that you would like to see for the the upcoming videos or just anything like that let me know down in the comments down below because i am open to any and all suggestions as you can see this rhino habitat came entirely from a suggestion that somebody um mentioned in the comments and i i made it into a reality and i turned it into a real um habitat so if you have any suggestions about any habitat or any animal or anything that you would like to see or that you would like me to to build for let me know in the comments down below i am always open to any and all suggestions oh and another thing if you guys were not aware i put a um little poll in my community tab when i was deciding which rhino i should build for and 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 yeah and basically if you guys want to to always be up to date and always know um when my next videos are coming and when i'm gonna post or just if i have like little fun um just like things like that where i i put it for a vote if you'd like to see something or something like that um go and just follow my instagram account i will leave it in the description down below it's kiwi plays on instagram and yeah it's just a super cool and super fun little instagram account and again i also post on youtube um i post on the youtube um what's it called on the youtube community tab so just be sure to always be aware if i post anything or anything like that just if you're interested in if not that's totally fine but just so you know if you are interested and if you do want to know if i will post anything new or just stuff like that um yeah be aware of the community tab and my instagram account i just have one last thing before i end today's episode um <clears throat> sorry if my voice sounds very like very weird <laughs> i don't know i've been a little bit sick the past um couple of weeks but that's not what i wanted to talk about i wanted to say that in this episode i'm trying something a bit new i don't know if you've noticed or not but there are subtitles to to this video <clears throat> sorry about that if you like the whole subtitle idea and just everything about that and if you think it's good and if you'd like me to 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 keep it like that for for always um then i definitely will just let me know down in the comments down below but other than that i think i am more or less finished um talking for this episode i think i am going to leave you alone um, and just enjoy the rest of the video in peace and quiet. Um, but yeah, the next episode that I'm going to post is probably going to be the new aquarium. But if it's not, don't, don't, don't mark my words because we all know that when I say something, it doesn't always mean that it's going to happen. Um, but yeah i think that's the end of today's episode thank you all so much for watching there's only a tiny bit left for the time lapse until we go into the cinematic shot so if you just want to skip ahead to then you're more than welcome to um but if you did watch until this point i want to thank you all so much for watching um yeah thank you all so much for watching until this point um yeah hope to catch you in the next one bye guys